Amen. 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 This has gone on long enough. Action needs to be taken. I agree, sir. As God says in the Bible, if a man lies with another male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. For this reason, Damien Hunter and all other homosexuals like him should be punished by God. Yes, and as messages of God, we must take it into our hands to persecute him into the court of the law. Yes, but what actions should we take to fulfill God's will? We must fight for what God wants in any way possible. We will protest, petition, and fight for this holy cause. We must do whatever it takes. We need to attack this issue directly at the source, the sinners themselves. The first step will be publicizing our beliefs and exposing their wrongdoings to innocent civilians. Yes, that will be the first step. Then, if the shameful behavior does not cease, we must you know, resort to persecution and physical force so that they get what they deserve. We will show them the error of their ways. We must abide God's wishes and to end this monstrosity. For as he says, likewise also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, man with another man, committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which we did. Amen. Oh my goodness, I'm just so happy. We're going grocery shopping. Me too, like I love food, like oh my god. I'm so glad to have you these shoes, like they're so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy, this is so Me great. Too. <laughs> Why should you have me like that? Can you believe these people go out in public like that? Don't oh. worry, they're going to hell anyways. How dare he say we're going to hell with him and his stupid little cult? No, no. no. And no. they're just a lost cause. Let's go. No. Home. Whatever. I'm not really. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Anderson, can I talk to you about that essay grade last week? Certainly, Damien. Have a seat, please. My dad, Reverend Harris, told me about this freak. He's such a weirdo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My dad told me about how he likes boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. He shouldn't even be allowed to show his face at this school. There's seriously something wrong with him. Hey, don't you look awfully pretty today? Fairy. <laughs> hey, enough of that. You guys, all of you, out of my office. Don't act like that in my room. I'll deal with you later. Don't get too close to him. He might have other intentions. Not just getting that essay changed. Before we get to this, Those people? At least I'm not one of your cult members, your little... Ugh. What did you just call us? Young man, you are an abomination in the eyes of God, and you are going to hell, and we don't have to take this from you. Well, I wouldn't want you to go to hell because you're talking to an abomination. Goodbye.
Excuse me, ladies, you may not be aware of this, but this church does not support homosexuality. Homosexuality is a sin. And for you to walk in here demanding marriage is just unjust. There is a reason why God created man and woman. So I strongly advise you guys to get up. Unfortunately, I don't agree with that. You see, whether I was straight or gay, as a human being, I should be allowed to be treated like anyone else. Based on what you're saying, it's a bad thing for me to love another woman. So how exactly does my love differ from another man's love for a woman? Your love for another woman is not to tolerated by this church or any other member. How dare you come into this church demanding support for this unholy union? Leave. Just forget hold it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here, there are other places to get married. Don't cry. It's okay. We don't no. have to get married in a church. You don't understand. He blatantly just told us that we're going to help and we're sinners. Can you believe that? We're going to have to do something even bigger to fight this hatred. You may call your first witness. The plaintiff calls Christina Morris to the stand. Be okay. <laughs> Miss Morris, when did you first meet Miss Green? Three years ago. And when did you and Miss Green start seeing each other? Two months after we met. <laughs> When did you two agree to get married? Seven weeks ago. And why didn't you get married? The state doesn't recognize the marriage of two women. And why are you arguing against this law? Because I love Haley and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Please, Miss Morris, remain calm. I apologize. Miss, now, Miss Morris, what do you think of this law forbidding you from marrying Miss Green? I think that it's absurd. A man is allowed to marry a woman, so why the hell is a woman not allowed to marry another man? Or a man another man? It's just crazy. Because it's against God, you Satan worshiper. Order, order, order. Thank you, Ms. Morris, the plaintiff. You may call your witness. The defense calls Reverend Frank Harris of the Westboro Baptist Church. Mr. Harris, when was the first time you met Miss Morris and Miss Green? About two weeks ago, when I was with, when I was at the grocery store with my wife. And what did these two women do that caused you to remember them so vividly? They were holding hands and openly dis and openly displaying their love of affection for one another in a public place. It was revolting. And what has led you to believe these views so adamantly? Well, the Bible, of course. Homosexuality is, detest is detestable, and that it is an abomination. Clearly, God would not want humankind relating to one another in such a way. And yet, these two people disobey him constantly. Mr. Harris, some restraint, please. What do you think of this law, Mr. Harris? I think it's the only thing that can save God. Acts like these two will, will run rampant around America, causing God to hate America even more. Is that what you want? You want you want these two and their abominable, abominable posse to destroy America? Because without you joining the cause to stop this to stop this ab aberrant behavior, they will. Would you be happy then? Remove this man from my car.